Hello, my name is Megan Casanova and I am the staff lead for the International Association of Chiefs of Police for the assessment of the Bennington Police Department's policies and procedures. Before we get started on the presentation, I'd like to first share with you what the IECP is and a little bit about the project team. The IECP is a member-based, not-for-profit organization committed to advancing the future of the police profession. For this assessment, our project team consisted of law enforcement subject matter experts, as well as representatives from the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law, a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization dedicated to securing equal justice for all. Additionally, we'd like to thank and acknowledge everyone who participated in this assessment. We thank the town officials and members of the department who have cooperated with this study and provided us with insights into the operation of the police department. We also appreciate the members of the Bennington community who met with us to share their experiences. Thank you. The purpose of this assessment was to conduct a systematic evaluation of the Bennington Police Department's operational policies and practices, particularly concerning systemic racial bias, and to offer recommendations to improve the community police relationship. More specifically, the team evaluated how the department compares to leading practices in contemporary policing examined department policies and practices to identify if they contained any systemic racial bias, determined whether or not insight into the department's policies and practices as they relate to responding to bias-motivated incidents and possible hate crimes could be provided, and developed an action plan and recommendations for the Bennington Police Department. To do this, the project team employed a multi-part methodology consisting of interviews and focus groups with members of the department, including command staff, line-level officers, and civilian support personnel, the team also spoke with members of the Bennington community during public listening sessions and one-on-one -on -one interviews with residents, members of civic and nonprofit organizations, and other organizations that provide various services to the community. Additionally, surveys were also conducted to gather responses from the department and the community. And finally, the project team analyzed primary data from the Bennington Police Department and other publicly available data. The findings and recommendations have been organized into four sections within the final report. The first section examines the policing environment. The next section examines the community side of the community police relationship. The third section examines the police side of the community police relationship. And finally, the fourth section contains a review of the department's critical policies and procedures. The policing environment. The policing environment examines the overall environment in which the Bennington Police Department is operating. The geography, service population, economic conditions, workload, and resources in the town of Bennington are salient factors that define and condition the policing requirements and can affect policy and operations. Bennington is, by and large, a vibrant and peaceful town with relatively low violent and property crime rates. So it isn't surprising to see a heavy emphasis on traffic enforcement nor that it is the most common interaction people have with the Bennington Police Department, whether they are members of the Bennington community or people passing through for work, school, or for any other reason. The project team reviewed publicly available traffic stop data available through the Crime Research Group, as well as data provided by the Bennington Police Department, and found there's a lack of variation in odds ratios between black and white traffic stops. This is likely due to tight policies around traffic stops and tickets. The team did note, however, that policies and training around officer discretion should be expanded upon. As a result of the review of the policing environment and traffic enforcement in particular, the team developed five recommendations. The first recommendation is to develop a method to more accurately track and analyze data and develop analytic strategies to support the department's robust traffic enforcement efforts. The second recommendation is to develop policies and procedures that support the use of analytics and data-driven procedures to engage in traffic enforcement, crime prevention, and to address other quality of life issues. The third recommendation is to enhance and hone the use of regular departmental constat meetings. Now, it should be noted that the department does have meetings, but they can be enhanced to reinforce focused enforcement, prevention, outreach, building partnerships, problem solving, communication and sharing intelligence, and tracking results. The fourth recommendation is to invest resources in specific training to support officers in recognizing and managing implicit bias. Finally, the fifth recommendation is to create policy related to traffic enforcement that supports officer discretion 
and provide training to officers to manage discretion during traffic stops. This will assist the department in continuing to mitigate the risk of racial disparity in traffic stops. Community Police Relationships and the Community Policing Initiatives. This section of the report focused on the community side of the community police relationship. How does the community perceive their relationship with the department to be? How do they view the department? In general, the project team found that while the department has implemented some community policing strategies, for the most part, the operational and organizational focus lies with traffic enforcement and reactive policing strategies. Traffic enforcement is an important and necessary policing strategy, but an emphasis on traffic enforcement can also sometimes have negative impacts, particularly on an agency's relationship with the community. When that happens, it can sometimes create fear of the department in some members of the community. The Bennington Police Department does engage in many important community programs, but there are more opportunities to incorporate the community as part of their mission, values, goals, policies, and strategies, and to build stronger collaborations with community partners. Based on the findings, nine recommendations were made centered around strengthening relationships with the community. These recommendations include creating volunteer opportunities to engage the community in the working operations of the police department, Consider adopting a community policing model, such as policing by consent. Consider establishing a community advisory board that provides community input on policy to the department. Creating a position for a dedicated community liaison. Developing strategies to move toward compliance with Vermont statutes. Develop policies and engage in enhanced use of social media to communicate directly with community members. Formalize collaboration with community partners to create long-term interdisciplinary strategic plans to address public safety concerns. Redesign the BenningtonPolice.com webpage to make it more appealing to community members and create an easily visible and accessible system to file internal affairs complaints. Trust, legitimacy, and procedural justice. This section of the report is focused on the police side of the community police relationship. What are the priorities of the department? How do they engage in their day-to-day -day tasks? How do they engage with others? We need to start by saying that police serve many roles within society. Not only are they responsible for what is generally considered traditional police work, enforcement activities, investigations, searching, chasing, and apprehending criminals, but there's also an increasing emphasis on providing social services, developing community partnerships, and establishing positive contacts. These dual roles are often referred to as warrior and guardian mindsets. We want to be clear, both roles serve a valid purpose in policing. Maintaining the right balance can be challenging for most police agencies as they consider any number of equally important but competing priorities and needs that are driven by town, community, and current events. In other words, the larger environment in which they are operating within. The key findings and recommendations in this section are centered around how the department can regain and maintain the balance between the two mindsets. Refocus on community policing and procedural justice mentality. As noted earlier, the operational and organizational focus lies with traffic enforcement and reactive policing strategies. Again, this serves a legitimate purpose and may be associated with a reduction in crash rates and generally reduced crime rates observed in Bennington. At the same time, it can potentially have a negative impact on the public perception of the department's legitimacy and overall community police relationship. Refocusing on a community policing and procedural justice mentality, that is, treating people with respect, giving individuals a voice during encounters, being neutral and transparent in decision making, and conveying trustworthy motives, builds legitimacy and trust. No one likes getting a ticket, but the community better understands traffic stops as a public safety strategy when they have trust in the department and view its operations as legitimate. Role ambiguity creates some confusion. The team found that the sworn and civilian staff of the department have a good understanding of their individual job roles and responsibilities, but there are opportunities for the department to more fully connect those roles and responsibilities to the mission and vision of the department and how their efforts contribute to the well-being of the organization and community. Leveraging those opportunities would also help the community to develop a better understanding of the Bennington Police Department's goals and operations. Enhance and formalize partnerships. 
The Bennington Police Department has established a number of formal and informal partnerships. However, the team has identified there are opportunities for stronger engagement in regular communications, meetings, strategic planning sessions, public meetings, and other opportunities to create a community-wide strategy. The team has provided six recommendations on how the Bennington Police Department can refocus on the community policing and procedural justice mentality, eliminate role ambiguity, and enhance partnerships. Develop a new mission statement, vision statement, and shared value statement. Adopt the practice of procedural justice. Revisit the policy on traffic enforcement to balance the need for safe roadways with trust building and procedural justice. Re-engage with key stakeholder groups in informing strategic partnerships. Continue to build on the good work of community policing programming with an eye toward using those opportunities to engage the public. Redesign the Bennington Police Department website. Policy review. The team reviewed the existing policies of the department to determine if they contained any unintentional bias. The review found no policies that would encourage systemic racial bias in the organization. The policy review also identified a number of important areas that are not addressed through policy or operating procedures, as well as policies that had not been updated in several years. We note that the process of keeping policy current is challenging for all police agencies, and it is particularly more challenging in agencies the size of the Bennington Police Department. As a result of the review, five recommendations have been identified. Recommendations from the policy review include seeking support to update policies, address understanding of policies internally and externally, prominently display a link for making compliments and complaints on the department's website, develop a code of conduct, set aggressive timeframes to address policy updates and developments. We'd like to conclude this presentation by saying that the foundation exists for the Bennington Police Department to be successful in developing operational strategies that encompass essential elements of community policing and procedural justice, are attentive to the needs of the community in decision-making, and value the professional experiences of officers. Have questions about the report? You can submit them to the Bennington Police Department report question form or email the project team at BenningtonVT at theiacp.org. Questions will be answered during a virtual meeting hosted by the Town of Bennington on Monday, May 4th. For details on the meeting, please see the Town of Bennington website. Thank you.